Imagine an icy realm, untouched and silent, holding secrets that are millions of years old. This is the frozen landscape of Antarctica, a plain wilderness that extends as far as the eye can see. But what if beneath the thick, impenetrable ice lies a different world, a world that was once home to ancient civilizations frozen in time, awaiting discovery? And what is the evidence that points to such frozen civilizations found under the ice of Antarctica? We'll find out in this new episode of Secret Origins. Welcome. Numerous theories about Antarctica have been appearing due to its isolation and harsh environment, hinting that it was once a lush territory for civilizations beyond our comprehension. These theories are often built upon the analysis of satellite images, interpretations of ancient maps, and odd formations spotted beneath the ice, suggesting potential human or even extraterrestrial activity. The Piri Rees map, a world map from 1513 created by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Rees, serves as significant evidence for some theorists. And what is interesting about this map is that it depicts an ice-free northern part of Antarctica, inciting speculation about ancient seafaring civilizations with advanced geographical understanding. Satellite pictures of Antarctica have also stirred intrigue. In 2006, a formation resembling a face was found in Antarctica via Google Earth, leading to speculations about a lost civilization, which scientists attribute to Periidola, a psychological phenomenon where the mind perceives a familiar pattern where none actually exists. The most controversial theories suggest that ancient alien civilizations could have resided on the icy continent, pointing to alleged pyramid-like structures visible beneath the ice. Could an ancient civilization have once thrived in this harsh landscape? Could Antarctica be the lost continent of Atlantis, as some suggest? Did the Earth's crust shift around 12,000 years ago, moving a temperate region to the South Pole? If so, did this shift trap the ancient Atlantean civilization under the Antarctic ice in a flash freeze? To find answers, we'll first delve into a mystery on the opposite side of the globe, the North Pole, where Admiral Byrd reported in his diary indications of a thriving, advanced civilization nestled deep within the Earth's crust, a civilization he called Agartha. Now, you might wonder who Admiral Byrd is. Admiral Byrd is an American naval officer and explorer, a distinguished figure in the history of exploration, who left behind a legacy steeped in both awe and skepticism. What is special about him is that noted in his diary are accounts of his secret journey into the Arctic regions, where he allegedly came across an advanced civilization living beneath the Earth's surface. But the existence of an inner Earth inhabited by sophisticated society resided more in the realm of science fiction than fact for many. Yet, his detailed descriptions and earnest accounts painted a vivid image that continued to resonate with a group of open-minded explorers. But Admiral Byrd is not a mere adventurer who is looking for a way to make a sensation. His decorated career paints a picture of a dedicated and determined explorer. He was a recipient of the Medal of Honor, the highest honor for valor given by the United States, and was recognized globally for his contributions to aviation and exploration. In the early to mid-20th century, he led numerous expeditions to the Earth's polar regions, setting several records along the way. His exploration credentials were impeccable, lending credence to his narrative about the inner Earth. But despite Byrd's credibility as a decorated explorer, his claims were met with a great deal of skepticism. A hidden civilization existing beneath our feet seemed far-fetched, Yet, the possibility was too intriguing to dismiss outright. His account ignited a wave of curiosity and debate among scientists, researchers, and armchair explorers alike. Was the Earth really hollow, harboring an entire civilization within? Could there be truth to the tales of utopia 
hidden beneath the ice? And if there really was a civilization beneath the North Pole, is it possible that there is also one beneath Antarctica? In the vast, icy landscapes of Antarctica, where the unforgiving climate challenges all who dare to venture, a team of explorers embarked on a daring quest. Driven by a desire to unravel the enigmatic secrets that had captivated their imaginations, they delved into the depths of history, mythology, and modern scientific thought. Their journey intertwined the realms of mystery and technology, leading them into uncharted territories of the human quest for knowledge. Amidst the frozen expanse, they sought answers to the questions raised by Admiral Byrd's extraordinary claims. His accounts of a hidden civilization beneath the Earth's surface had sparked curiosity and controversy, pushing the boundaries of what seemed possible. Inspired by his narratives, these intrepid explorers hoped to uncover the truth hidden within the ancient archives of human civilization. Their exploration resonated with the timeless human drive to explore the unknown, challenge established beliefs, and redefine the limits of our existence. It was a journey into the depths of the earth, both metaphorically and literally, where ancient tales and cutting-edge science merged. Their quest embodied the insatiable curiosity that propels humanity forward, propelling us to seek enlightenment in the face of enigmas. While the idea of civilizations thriving underground may appear fantastical, history offers glimpses of their existence. Across the world, scattered examples bear witness to vast underground settlements that once flourished. Among them, the story of the underground city of Derinkuyu in Cappadocia, Turkey, stands out as a testament to human ingenuity. Unearthed by chance in 1963 by a local farmer, Darren Kuyu emerged as a breathtaking proof of ancient engineering prowess. This sprawling subterranean city, spanning 18 stories and descending 85 meters beneath the surface, had the capacity to accommodate around 20,000 inhabitants, complete with livestock and ample food stores. From wine cellars and oil presses to religious sanctuaries and schools, Every facet of life found its place within this underground marvel. Delicate ventilation shafts meticulously ensured a steady flow of fresh air, while colossal stone doors safeguarded the city's security. Darren Kuyu defied the boundaries of what we deemed possible in ancient times, leaving us mind blown and wondering how and why it was created. Shifting our focus to the enigmatic realm of Egypt, we encounter another extraordinary subterranean wonder, the Great Sphinx of Giza. Concealed beneath its imposing structure lies secret chambers, about which many have speculated, including Edgar Cayce. While the preservation of this monument restricts extensive exploration, the existence of these hidden chambers and tunnels suggests that our ancestors possessed some kind of advanced knowledge and expertise to construct intricate underground complexes. But where did they get it from? Now, you have probably heard the idea that the Sphinx and Pyramids might predate the Egyptians, hinting at unknown ancient civilizations or even extraterrestrial involvement. Take a look at the Great Sphinx again the enigmatic sentinel of the Giza Plateau. In the 90s, geologist Dr. Robert Schock noticed that the erosion patterns on the Sphinx were more indicative of water damage, suggesting heavy rainfall which hasn't occurred in Giza for about 10,000 years. Here's where it gets interesting. Traditional Egyptology suggests the Sphinx was built around 2500 BCE, during Pharaoh Khafre's reign. However, Egypt was already dry then. Could this mean that the Sphinx is significantly older, coming from a time when Egypt was green and tropical? Such a revelation could shake our understanding of history. If the Sphinx was ancient even before the first pharaoh, then who built it? Could there be a forgotten advanced global civilization buried in history, waiting for rediscovery, just like the one in Antarctica? 
talking about the Sphinx, let's now consider an even more controversial theory. The Great Sphinx, typically depicted as a lion-bodied, human-headed monument, may have originally been a statue of Anubis, the jackal-headed god of the afterlife. This theory, proposed by British researcher Robert Temple, is based on the Sphinx's head, which is proportionately smaller than its body. Could it have been re-carved from a larger original, perhaps a jackal head? Temple's theory also points to the Sphinx's location in front of Pharaoh Khafre's pyramid, traditionally a guarding pole assigned to Anubis in Egyptian mythology. Could the Sphinx, which translates to living image, have actually been the image of Anubis? It seems quite possible. But our quest for knowledge is far from over. Concepts like these push the boundaries and make us always look for answers. Indeed, isn't it fascinating that the majestic Great Pyramids of Giza impress us not just with their colossal size, but also with their extraordinary mathematical precision and celestial alignment? The Great Pyramid of Giza's precise architecture is a testament to the remarkable sophistication of an ancient civilization. Standing originally at 481 feet, it held the title of the world's tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. Yet, it's not just the scale, but the precision that astounds. Its base is almost a perfect square, with less than two inches difference in lengths between the four sides, and each side is carefully aligned in a cardinal direction. More intriguingly, the three pyramids of Giza replicate the alignment of the three stars in Orion's belt, a constellation tied to Osiris, the Egyptian god of the afterlife. The layout of the three main pyramids mirrors Orion's belt's positioning, a correlation highlighted by Robert Bouval and Adrian Gilbert's Orion correlation theory. Moreover, the pyramid's alignment with the true north deviates by a tiny 3 60th of a degree. This suggests an in-depth astronomical understanding that surpasses mere coincidence. How such precision was achieved remains a mystery. Mainstream history attributes it to human resourcefulness and labor, but others speculate about extraterrestrial intervention and entities perceived as gods by the ancients. Could this indicate advanced astronomical knowledge or even extraterrestrial help? The ancient astronaut theory suggests that extraterrestrial beings may have interacted with ancient humans possibly influencing their technology, knowledge, and spirituality. It argues that the pyramids might have been constructed using technology or knowledge from an advanced non-human civilization. This theory is fueled by Egyptian texts and art seemingly depicting advanced tech or celestial beings. For instance, hieroglyphics in the Temple of Seti I resemble modern aircraft and ancient Egyptian deities often held celestial connections and incredible powers. Could these gods have been extraterrestrials perceived as divine due to their advanced technology and knowledge? Did they assist or guide the Egyptians in constructing the pyramids? Additionally, the Great Pyramid's narrow shafts, or air vents, appear to point towards specific stars. The King's Chamber's southern shaft aligns with Orion, the northern with circumpolar stars. In the Queen's Chamber, one shaft points to Sirius, the sky's brightest star, and another to the Ursa Minor constellation. The Sphinx also shows signs of astronomical alignments. It faces due east, and some theorists propose that it was designed to observe the equinoxes and solstices. The theory of the Sphinx, representing the constellation of Leo during the Age of Leo, approximately 10,500 BCE, as proposed by Robert Bouval and Graham Hancock, challenges mainstream chronology and makes us question our understanding of the Sphinx and its origins, and of the origin as a whole. For if extraterrestrial beings were helping and influencing the ancient cultures, is there any more proof of their past presence? Adding to the intrigue of the mysteries of ancient Egypt, the ancient Greek historian Herodotus chronicled the existence of an unfathomable labyrinth in Egypt, surpassing any known pyramid in magnificence. 
Herodotus' descriptions painted a vivid picture of a labyrinth-like structure adorned with awe-inspiring sculptures and intricate hieroglyphics. The labyrinth was also said to consist of thousands of rooms and corridors, a labyrinth so vast and intricate that it surpassed human imagination. It was a place of wonder, a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of the ancient Egyptians. However, despite the enduring allure of this labyrinth, its exact location remains a chilling mystery. Tireless search efforts over the centuries have yielded no conclusive evidence, leaving scholars and explorers intrigued and captivated by its enigmatic existence. The labyrinth's elusiveness only adds to its mystique, fueling speculation and theories about its potential purpose and the secrets it may hold. The idea of an underground complex of such magnitude and architectural brilliance sounds profound. If the labyrinth described by Herodotus truly exists, it raises questions about the advanced knowledge, engineering prowess, and cultural sophistication of the ancient civilizations. How did they construct such an elaborate subterranean structure? Considering the historical precedence of underground civilizations, Admiral Byrd's assertion of an advanced civilization thriving under the ice becomes less implausible. If our ancestors could create and inhabit underground cities with advanced technology, then the concept of a sophisticated and technologically advanced civilization residing in the depths of the Earth becomes worthy of serious consideration. But what about the conditions required for humans to live underground or beneath tens of meters of ice? From an ecological perspective, sustaining life underground has its requirements. These include a stable temperature, a reliable source of water, breathable air, and a viable food source. And what about Antarctica? Is it possible that it wasn't always as icy as we see it now? Remarkably, Antarctica was once part of a warm supercontinent, Gondwana, about 180 million years ago. But Gondwana broke up and Antarctica started drifting to its current icy location over the South Pole. It became a frozen landscape around 34 million years ago, but was it ever warm after that? Some hypotheses suggest parts of it could have been ice-free and warm at times. Interestingly, various caves around the world, such as Romania's Movile Cave, supports unique ecosystems in the absence of sunlight. These examples demonstrate that life can indeed adapt to subterranean conditions. If an advanced civilization existed underground, their advanced technology could potentially overcome the challenges associated with the lack of natural light and ventilation. Admiral Byrd spoke of a highly advanced race, far beyond our own, with technologies that allowed them to harness energy and resources in a way we can only dream of. Could they have developed sustainable subterranean living systems, utilizing geothermal energy, cultivating crops underground, or even replicating sunlight? The idea of civilizations living underground aligns intriguingly with a variety of ancient legends and myths. Various cultures, including the Greeks, Tibetans, and Native Americans, have folklore about subterranean realms inhabited by beings with superior knowledge and technology. Are these just coincidental similarities, or could they be echoes of a shared truth lost in time? Cultures across the globe, from the Celts to the Mayans, the Greeks to the Hindus, share stories of underground realms inhabited by advanced beings. The persistence of these tales through generations and their prevalence across different cultures lend weight to the idea that they shared memories or experiences, one such story comes from the Hopi Indians of North America. Their legends speak of the ant people, benevolent beings who lived underground and saved the Hopi from cataclysms on the surface. Interestingly, these ant people are described as possessing advanced technologies and knowledge. Another story about underground advanced civilization is the Buddhist legend about Agartha a marvelous subterranean realm inhabited by beings of greater beauty and wisdom. According to Tibetan scholars, they have a connection with the king of the inner world, represented by the Dalai Lama, and they speak of tunnels linking Tibet to the inner world. 
Similar tunnels are believed to exist beneath the Great Pyramids of Egypt and South America, with entrances to underground cities rumored in the Amazon Basin and connecting to the lost city of El Dorado. Shambhala, the capital of this inner world, is regarded as a place of peace and happiness. Buddhists believe in multiple portals to Agartha, but access is granted selectively. Some associate these portals with the Earth's seven chakras, just like the seven chakras of the human body. Agartha is believed to be home to extinct civilizations, such as the Atlanteans and the Lemurians, who went underground after cataclysms that destroyed their initial homes. In recent years, scientific advancements have added a new dimension to these clues. Seismic data and satellite imagery have revealed large subterranean structures and anomalies. While these are often attributed to geological processes, some argue that they could indicate the presence of an underground civilization. The clues pointing to Agartha's existence are diverse, spanning across time, cultures, and disciplines. Each piece of evidence in isolation can be explained away or dismissed. However, when viewed collectively, these clues create a narrative that is intriguing and hard to dismiss outright. But while skepticism is a necessary tool in discerning fact from fiction, outright denial can hinder the pursuit of knowledge. This exploration is not merely about finding a hidden civilization, but rather it's a journey towards expanding the horizons of human knowledge and wisdom. In the case of Agartha, the continuous examination of the gathered evidence, the continued interpretation of myths and legends, and the relentless search for new clues all underscore our thirst for understanding the unexplained. Now, one may wonder, if an advanced civilization truly exists beneath our feet, why have they not made themselves known to us? Perhaps, as some theorize, they choose to remain hidden, observing us from a distance waiting for us to reach a point of technological or spiritual maturity. Or perhaps we have not yet developed the tools or the understanding necessary to perceive their presence. While physical searches do persist, others perceive the quest for Agartha from a metaphysical perspective. To these seekers, Agartha is not a physical realm, but a spiritual one, reachable not through bodily travel, but inner exploration and spiritual awakening. Now, many speculate that possible entrances to Agartha, as per legend, are scattered across the globe. Stories from ancient cultures speak of portals leading to underground realms. Shambhala, described in ancient Tibetan texts, is a hidden city at Earth's core, and Patala, a subterranean place referred in Hindu scriptures, are two examples. These tales steer explorations to diverse locations such as the Himalayas, the Amazon rainforest, and the vast steppes of Mongolia. One intriguing structure cited in Agartha searches is the alleged stone door in the well of Varanasi, India. Hindu folklore mentions this as an entrance to Patala. Similarly, the Mammoth Cave in Kentucky in the U.S., with its extensive network of underground pathways, is theorized as another possible entrance to Agartha. However, polar regions also feature prominently in the search for Agartha. Following Admiral Byrd's accounts of expansive openings in these regions, many believe the gateways to Agartha exist within the Arctic and Antarctic. These remote, ice-clad regions, full of mystery, form a compelling backdrop for the search of a hidden civilization. And so, as we continue to gather and analyze clues, we come closer to potentially unraveling the enigma that is Agartha. Whether we eventually prove its existence or conclusively debunk the legend, the process of searching, questioning, and exploring advances our collective knowledge and wisdom. What are your thoughts on the possibility of ancient civilizations lying beneath the ice of Antarctica? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, and for more mysteries and secrets of Antarctica, watch these videos next. Keep your minds open, and until we meet again.